What's up, y'all? Today we got the new Shake Shack Black Truffle Menu. Limited time offer, so you know I had to scoop it up. Three things on this menu, and I got all three of them. Let's take a quick look at what we're working with. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about right there. Love me some Shake Shack. And I always have to do these limited time offer menus. I know I always default to these Shake Shack videos. I do a lot of them, usually the, uh, whenever a limited time offer menu comes out, oh man, those are looking prime. I have to do a video on them, just an excuse to eat Shake Shack maybe, but uh, this one I'm very curious about. Black truffle is on the menu and I feel like these are going to be some gourmet ass sandwiches, burgers, and fries here. So we got a chicken, black truffle chicken sandwich. I'll get into all the deets here in a second. We also got the black truffle burger right here. I got the double. And we got the black truffle fries, which they're looking real golden and crispy today. I haven't ever seen them this golden and crispy which is right up my alley. And it comes with some black truffle sauce and some, looks like some fried crispy onions and ch chives as well. Let me top off these fries real quick just to get some presentation going. By the way, I paid 30 bucks for this meal right here. 30 doll hairs, so a little bit expensive, but it's always worth it. Presentation, looking on point. I'm smelling some black truffle in the air already. So let's get into this. Uh, I'm gonna start with this chicken sandwich right here and I'll give you a close up view and show y'all what exactly is on this sandwich. So we got the, the nice potato bun. Underneath we have some pickled onions. Not sure if I've had pickled onions on a chicken sandwich before, but I bet you Ethan Klebowski has. And he always be cooking up some good food. So we also got the uh, black truffle sauce. So there's no real shavings of black truffle on these food items unfortunately, but it's in this sauce, which I'm curious to try out. It looks like, looks like there's a good slather on the top bun. I see some remnants on this piece of chicken, which supposedly has been sous vide. Uh, nice and crispy. Underneath, we got some more of that sauce on the bottom bun. And on top of that sauce is some rucola, AKA arugula, rocket, whatever you want to call it. We got some stemmage hanging out. You know, uh, I don't mind that, but if you take away these stems real, real quick. With limited tinkering, besides like really taking these off, I didn't really move anything around there. That is pretty much looking like your expectation. You know, expectation versus reality. That is looking, uh, like I said, that's looking prime. So let's take a bite and see if it's mighty fine. Mighty fine. Wow, I'll tell you what, Shake Shack chicken. The, uh, at least this piece right here, that is fire. That is fire. All white meat and all the good parts about it. I wouldn't necessarily call it juicy, as at least not as much as, as like a thigh meat for chicken, but it's about as tender as you can get with white meat because that sous vide process. And I was scared, one thing I was scared about was the truffle being too overpowering and all I could taste is truffle. A little bit paranoid about that before I got it, but nah. At least for first bite in, that's not what I'm feeling. Crispy, crunchy. That's a gourmet. To be honest with you, I'm only picking up the faintest amount of black truffle on there, which is what I like. I like it as a small compliment or else it can quickly take over the whole flavor of the whatever you put it on. With the pickled onions on there to give it that little, that little hint, it's not a hint, the cut of sharpness. It's matched well with the rucola that's on there that's more of a subtle, down-to-earth, peppery flavor. Charge some of this sauce. You can definitely taste the black truffle in that sauce. 
this is some kind of mayo based you know black truffle sauce but this thing right here this works on all levels man that's so good man i've had their like regular chicken sandwich the one that's always on the menu and that's eh it's meh i think i've had it once and i never went back to it this one is better let me try these fries i want to get them while they're still crispy hopefully they'll hold up on their crisp so super golden and crispy fries but uh some of that truffle sauce these crispy onions and chives on here i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this thing right here this little poker that they gave me I assume it's intended for the fries, but I'm gonna have to switch to a fork. Yeah, nah, this ain't working. Come on now. There we go. Mmm. I don't know y'all, maybe it's just because I'm I'm pretty hungry right now, but so far in, this is one of my favorite Shake Shack limited time all only menus. I might always say that in these videos, but this is really hitting the spot. Um, again, just because they have just the right amount of truffle. I've gotten truffle fries. I, I think black truffle things are a, a very trendy in Seoul. They have been for the past, I don't know, a few years, I would say. And I've gotten the, their truffle fries a few times and they're always just loaded with way too much truffle and that's all you can taste this one perfect in melt and truffle truffle fries these are by far the best truffle fries i've ever had and i mean it's really just the sauce i believe but it just oh. Now I can see why truffle fries are a thing. It just, you gotta execute. And Shake Shack, he never lets me down. And you know, I always do these Shake Shack videos. I've probably done too many. Uh, it's because we don't have, I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining here. We just don't have a very large selection of these kind of like gourmet burger places, American burger places here, or even not gourmet uh over here in korea so i gotta take what i can get luckily there is a shake shack close by i heard we are getting a five guys in the future in the somewhat near future but unfortunately it's not going to be around me i think they do plan on opening more around seoul in the more extended future but uh, i'll see what i can do about that and i heard like years ago we've told me yo there's going to be an arby's coming to korea i was like oh snap you for real, ABM? Where'd you get these sources? He's like, guys, I saw it. And uh, unfortunately, years later, it still hasn't arrived that I know of. So, so yeah. Mm. I would love to have an Arby's here. There's so many places I would love to have. Uh, Culver's, that's up there. I gotta save some of these fries. But so far, so good. And I can't imagine this burger going wrong. So let's take a look at this. I might not completely dissect this. I haven't taken this apart and it's just holding up so well. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin it. But you got two patties with two pieces of Emmental cheese. You got the crispy onions that were on the fries instead of the pickled onions that were on the chicken sandwich. I like the fact that they're switching it up like that, but you also do have the arugula on the top and a lot of that truffle sauce and i'm thinking you know i'm thinking this is going to be so delicious those fries are mighty fine by the way hopefully all three of these things will be mighty fine going in Mm. 
Yeah, that's mighty fine. Uh, what can I say? What can I even say, man? What I can say, what I will say is, come on, just watch the Bulls game right before recording this video. Matt Peck, hat, hat throw, man. Come on, man. Come on. Where's the energy? Put me out there. Put me out there. I can play. I may not be very tall, but I'm slow. Mm. All right, y'all, this burger, for one, it's not like you're skimping out on the meat. I mean, no one ever claimed it was, but with all those extra ingredients, the fried onions, the arugula and everything else, with the duble here, you're getting a lot of that meat and that's the primary flavor and texture and mouthfeel that I'm getting, which is what it should be, it's a burger. And everything else on there is just a delightful compliment to that nice beef. I've been to a really nice place once. Um, there was like an omakase beef type of place and they were cooking up all this exquisite beef. And I remember one of the things was a, like a truffle beef thing. And I ate it and I was like, I know this is probably one bite of that would be more than this entire meal. And it's super fancy. And it was like, it was a real low key place. You had to, it was like, you had to go through a bank vault door to get in there, super low key. But it was just overwhelmed with truffle. And I keep repeating that in this video because it was just too truffly. Truffle with meat or beef specifically, I think that's a, you know, it's not an uncom uncommon matchup, not an uncommon pairing at all. And, you know, give me this burger over that meat, you know? Because of the ratios there. Now, one thing I'll say about this one that didn't really affect me with this one is the arugula on this one. Maybe it's more stems in there, but, uh, you probably saw some of the bites I'm getting more stemmage. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where all the flavor lies in the stems, so they didn't want to take them out. But what I will say is it would be a little, just a little bit more nice if I wasn't pulling stems out the burger. Only complaint though. Mm. I'm saving this uh, for the last bite, but yeah, man. I want to say that the truffle sauce, I'm not sure if it's actually different or if it's just playing differently with the main ingredients here. It's definitely got more of a uh, light sweeter bite on this one, but maybe that's just because I'm mixing in with the pickles and the beef on this one and the fried onions, I guess, kind of neutralize or just kind of take it down to more of an earthy, uh, earthy flavor. I'm sure they're using the same sauce. Mm. Same sauce, but just with a few ingredient tweaks, completely different flavor. Obviously it's different meat, but. Y'all know what I'm saying. Actually y'all, this is one of those, this is one of them where, sorry. Everything is mighty fine, so I want to kind of keep a one last bite in unison. I don't want to finish one off real quick right off the bat. I'm going to save a little bit so I can have one last bite of each. They're all equally mighty fine, I got to say. I'm going to start off with this. Going down the hatch. That chicken in there, you can actually taste the chicken. That's wild. 
Man, I, I want to eat this again before it disappears, to be honest with you. We'll do the fries. And then we'll do the burger. Yup. Again, it might look like I'm overhyping Shake Shack. Like, um, I do an unproportionate amount of videos on Shake Shack, but like, that's what we got. And but I, I really do love it. I don't know if I would love it as much if I had so many other things to work with around me. If I could always get a a Five Guys burger whenever I wanted, or In and Out, or Culver's, or whatever you whatever you want. Uh, but this is always such a nice treat for me, and I I really do believe in the quality, man. Obviously unsponsored, still unsullied from sponsorship since 1990. 1990, yeah. Some people ask me, hey, why don't you do sponsorships, man? Or it's more like, dude, you're, I can't believe you don't do that. You're a fool. It's more like it. And potentially, yeah. You know, I, I'll tell you what, man. I don't want to go into a long rant, but I'm just such a... Well, I think that's one of... I, I hope that it's one of my gimmicks. That I try to keep it real. I try to keep it old school. And I feel like that's one of the, the tricks that I use where, cause I'm not, obviously I'm nothing. I think I have a little bit, a lot of imposter syndrome. So I'm like, man, I gotta keep what gimmicks I have. I'm the guy who don't do sponsorship. I, I don't say like smash the like button and, and stuff. I try not to go overboard with the thumbnails or whatever and try to keep it real, but I don't know, man. There's your answer for now. Who knows what's gonna happen in the future. I'm not working on anything right now. I'm not thinking about it, but just thought I'd mention it. Anyway, I just like my my I found my eyebrows just kind of raising in in the light of that of that meal, and I'm still tasting it. I'm still feeling it in the belly, and it just it was nice, real nice. So that's about it, though. So thank you for watching this one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Yo, by the way, quick movie shout out, Pig with Nick Cage. I was just about to edit this and it came to mind. Saw it recently. Check it out.